Let's do it. All right. So uh, tell me a little bit about how your idea for this album came about and um, how you got, you know, these guys like Sammy Hagar, Dolly Parton, Billy Ray Cyrus, how you got them and some of these other guys to perform on the tracks or like if they reached out to you or because it's an interesting mix of people. I mean, you got country and rock and nice blend of genres. Well, it, it was all a natural progression. You know, we did a movie, the Street Survivors movie that came out. Uh, APB wrote a, a song for the movie that. Um, and we thought we would just carry it on. We we wanted to record. Um, the main reason that we thought, why now? Why take a bunch of Skinner songs and re-record re them? Songs that have been recorded many times. Uh, songs that have been recorded by a lot of different people. Well, it the reason is, is because Ronnie Van Zant deserves it. His music, his band, his legacy, it, it deserves it. And when uh, our bass player, Dave Fowler, um, was able to bring Dolly Parton to, to uh, the table, um, once you get Dolly, then people like Sammy Hagar go, hey, yeah, I I'd love to be on that. Right. And so Dolly Parton was basically, you know, she was going to record Freebird on our new album which it's called Anthems. And um, the basic track on the band is the same band that you saw at the Lavoie. Mm -hmm. Scott Rains and Jerry Lida and Bradley Durden and, and uh, David Fowler and myself, Artemis Gomer Pyle. Um, so uh, we are the basic track on every single track, but we brought in guest vocalists that all, Ronnie Van Zant, because Ronnie's a, a fellow singer songwriter, you know, and and uh, with Dolly, she's a she's a songwriter. Uh, Warren Haynes, uh, Sammy Hagar, they're they're all songwriters, so they were paying tribute to Ronnie, his music and his band, and I'm very I'm I'm glad to be included in that. Yeah. Um, I was included in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2006. Absolutely. They based you know, they base on whether you're inducted on your your uh, contribution to the band. So my contribution was great. Um, I'm not saying it was great. I'm saying it was a lot. You know, uh, but some people say it was great. Um, was so I would I would be one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I I got inducted, and I I'm, I was glad to be included. Bob Burns was there, standing beside me. Uh, he played Sweet Home Alabama that night. I played Freebird. Uh, we we lost Bob uh, to a car wreck years ago, but Bob was actually in this band. He was in APB, and he loved the band. He loved the way the guys play the music. You know, we've been together 15 years, and there's not a band in the world that plays Skinner better than we do. And uh, Scott and Jerry were uh, fortunate to be able to go to Nashville and sit with Ed King and learn guitar parts straight from the master, you know, oh, yeah. and, and then we lost Ed, you know, uh, and and uh, you know, set about six, seven months ago, I can't remember, I don't keep track of things like that, but we lost Gary Rossington. I know it was last year now. Um, Gary was the last founding member of Leonard Skinner, which makes me, you know, the last living member of Leonard Skinner. And it's not a good feeling. It's not something I would brag about. It's not something I'm, hey, look at me. Uh, it's a bad feeling. But yeah. but it does not change the fact of what we do, APB, as a band. We've been doing it 15 years. And we go and we play all these cool places all over America, of uh, these cool theaters that have been restored and, and remodeled um, that have great acoustics. We get to play all these outdoor festivals, uh, there, you know, like like in in New Jersey, um, that when we go down to that one that we do, it's called Rock Ribs and Ridges, hmm. and they do it every year, and it's like a three day festival. And they have like sixty thousand people. Really, and where is that? Do you know? It's uh, it's it's at the fairgrounds, uh -huh. there in New Jersey. Um, 
I can't think of the name because it, it's not close to a town. It's kind of out in the country. It's a beautiful facility. It's yeah. got horse barns and uh, nice it, hats for the horses. Is it Woodstown? I'll 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 think of it in a minute. Augusta. Yeah. It's Augusta. Augusta. Oh, Augusta. Okay. And I've it's it. it's where you have the uh, the New Jersey uh, State Fair. I think they have oh, it there okay. every year. Gotcha. And so we get to play places like that. Yeah. And and no matter who the the headliner is, when we play, and I'm not I'm not bra- You know, I, I guess I am kind of bragging. When we play, no matter who the headliner is and how strong and big they are, the people come forward on this music. They fist bump, they sing the words because Ronnie Van Zant did not write a bad song. Not um, one, not one. You know, and, and he was just prolific in his writing. And so we couldn't do an album of all of his songs, but so we chose 13, 14 songs. Um, and then when Dolly said she would come in, you know, I, I'm inducted in the Hall of Fame because of Ronnie Van Zant, and uh, and and I told Dolly, I said I'm going to vote for you because you're on the ballot this year, and she said, well, I don't know if I deserve it, and I said, well, Dolly, you know, you deserve everything. <laughs> uh, we were yeah. working with her producer, Kent Wells, uh, a producer. He's he was working on our album, and through Kent and David Fowler. Dolly came in and and recorded Freebird. And that kind of opens the door, you know, for a successful album when you start it off like that. Now, navigating Nashville, Tennessee, and the music business in Nashville, it is a difficult, arduous process. Yeah. You know, going through the the the, the game, if there's a certain way of doing it in Nashville. And, you know. I'll never record another song in Nashville. Um, we have other studios that we'll go to. Uh, I love Nashville. I've been going there my whole life. I was raised in my family. Uh, you know, I, I rode horses and drove bulldozers on my my uh, grandfather's farm uh, in uh, Fentress County, Tennessee. So I love Tennessee. Don't get me wrong, but I'm talking about uh, the the Nashville. Um, uh, you have to navigate and it's difficult through, th- through the process. And you can imagine having 14 songs, you're dealing with 14 artists, 14 uh, artist lawyers, which is multiple, 14 management companies. So there's a lot of T's to cross and a lot of I's to dot. We got it done. And not only did we do that, but we got a bonus before we lost Gary months ago, we got Gary on Freebird with Dolly Parton. No way. Playing his iconic guitar solo. That is which incredible. Was pretty special. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, it, it was incredible. And so, and then we lost Gary, but, but we got him on there. And uh, when the song opens up, um, Dolly is actually kind of singing along with Gary's uh, solo uh, slide. And it's very beautiful the way it's done. The arrangement that we came up with for Dolly, she loved it. Kent Wells, you know, uh, and the band. Um, So we are on Dolly Parton's album, um, Freebird. We are the basic track, APB. As I said, Scott and Jerry and Dave and and, uh, Brad and myself. We are the basic track on every song. Yeah. Um, so um, there's many different formats that Dolly's album is out there. For I mean, for a couple of weeks, it was like number one in the world. Yeah. And it felt kind of special to be on a number one album in the world. Oh, of course. Yeah. Uh, and and so different formats and everything uh, where it uh, was uh, rated. Uh, hmm. But... You know, the time was now and uh, all of the artists put their hearts and souls into these performances Yeah, for for Ronnie. And uh, we're, we're proud of it. Um, uh, it was it was hard work. And there was some very, very. Uh, frustrating times through this process 
of doing this album. There, there, there's been some very frustrating moments, but as I say, it's difficult to navigate the Nashville uh, way of doing things, but we were able to do it. Our album is gonna drop on February the 2nd, Groundhog's Day. We already have about 1,500 vinyls that are available uh, out there. It's gonna come out in vinyl. And um, the uh, the name is The An Anthems. And we also released 1,500 pre-sales where people had written in. I signed a bunch of drum heads. So if you, if you ordered a pre-sale, you know, you'd get a drum head that said, Artemis Pyle, drums, Leonard Skinner, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Ronnie Van Zant, yeah. APB. Uh, then I uh, sketched a little Picasso of my drums, a little uh, a, a little artwork of my drums, and uh, so you got that if you got the presale. And yeah. uh, so th those are out there. The horse is out of the barn. Yeah, but, you know we are. Uh, releasing officially on February 2nd, Groundhog's Day, um, which I hope it doesn't turn out like the movie with Bill, uh, Bill Murray. Bill Murray, Bill Murray yeah. because, because, you know, like the day keeps repeating itself. Yeah. <laughs> Great <laughs> but, movie, yeah. Uh, but no, it's February 2nd is the target date. And, um, you know, we'll, uh, and then APB is, looking forward to getting in the studio and recording a brand new album of all yeah. original stuff. I mean, I wanted to go back to um, Gary a little bit, because I mean, consider the timing between um, his passing and their, um, you know, you guys working on your album. I mean, that's got to make it feel like so much more meaningful to you. And the fact that it's like a big tribute to Ronnie's music. And like, it's weird. Like when Gary passed away, like I felt, I felt like as sad as like when like my grandmother died, like it just does feel like a, like a big Skinnerd family. So. Well, you're, you're right. I mean, uh, Gary uh, being one of the uh, three original founding members and everything that was, that was a big loss. Yeah. And um, so we and the band APB, all of us, we're, we're doing this to honor uh, Gary and the band and Ronnie and we we're not do we didn't do this to make a bunch of money because all of the songs have already been published and the, the writers of those songs are like Gary and and Alan and Leon and Billy and, and Ronnie so the money the big money for this album is going to go to the children and grandchildren of my rock and roll friends that are up in rock and roll heaven mm. You know, I feel yeah. like they're a parallel universe on the biggest stage you've ever seen jamming out right now. Yeah. And they got a whole band. They got a whole band. And when I come up, they'll have double drums. Um, <laughs> and and, and I, I say, up. Uh, I, you know, I don't know where I'm going, but I feel like it's a parallel universe. Definitely up. Definitely you know up. What and uh, I, I, I think they were very proud. The, the spirit of the band and the families and and the the fans, the spirit must have been very proud of APB for on October twentieth last was yeah. the forty sixth anniversary of the plane crash, and we were at the Grand Ole Opry playing two songs, sold out. That place is huge, thousands yeah. of people. They treated us great, you know. Backstage at the Grand Ole Opry, Vince Gill came out and sang a song dedicated to the band because, you know. Uh, with the Eagles right now and uh, Vince sang a song he wrote for his brother that he lost and he sang it for the loss on that day October 20th this past October 20th Yeah, and we had been the day before in San Antonio, Texas raising money for veterans yeah. thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of dollars for veterans that's what we do mm -hmm. we go out and play for children for cancer for veterans, for firefighters, for anybody that needs a, a helping hand, especially the veterans. And we do a lot of that stuff and we're proud of it. And uh, of course we like to pay the bills as well, but we're not greedy. We do it because, you know, we in the band, myself, I know we all feel the same. It's about the music to us. It's not about, you know, how much we're going to get paid. 
oh man, we we have a gig in uh, so you know some state, and we go, oh man, where? Oh, cool, that's that great venue that we played out, outdoors, and you know, and and uh, the rest of it comes in a natural progression. So, uh, missing missing Gary is something that I do every day because I I I miss the whole band. Uh, sometimes when I'm playing the music in a live show. We play a lot of sold out shows and sometimes I get emotional within the songs um, and I, I have to control it because sometimes it, it's very emotional and it, it's overwhelming and I can hardly see yeah. uh, through the tears. Uh, but then I, I just let myself turn those into tears of joy mm. because music is the language of the universe and music kept me alive. Being the drummer of Leonard Skinner has kept me alive. And uh, I'll tell you what, it's kept a few other people alive too. Um, so, you know, it, it's it, it, the, the whole musical progression. Uh, this is just one stop, our album Anthems. And we're really glad that we were able to do it. It was hard. <clears throat> we got it done. <clears throat> and it, 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 as they say up north, <laughs> it is what it is. Oh yeah, very much so. <laughs> I've been yeah. I've been watching HBO the last week or so. I'm hooked on The Sopranos. They play about six about six uh, shows a night, six episodes yeah. of The Sopranos, and I've I've gotten rehooked on it, you know. But uh, yeah. but we love playing up north. We love. I mean, even back in the days of Skinner. Um. It wasn't just the South or Texas or California that loved the band. Yeah. When we played up north and all the northern states, they they went wild. Everybody else as the southern fans. So yeah. uh, I I love playing up there. I love seeing the towns, looking how people fix their houses up, traveling. Uh, you know, being on the road. Yeah, <clears throat> we're all road dogs. This band will get, and we've done it. This man will get on our tour bus and drive five days on our tour bus to Rio Doso, New Mexico and back to play one show with Lori Morgan. Mm. There's no band in the, in, in the business that does that right now. There are bands in the business. They won't even move unless they get paid a certain amount of money. And unless the, there's 10 gigs back to back and it's easy, you know, Rio Doso, New Mexico, five days on the bus. We just did that last year. Did you? Wow. For one show. And uh, I'm I'm so proud of our band, um, the way we uh, performed and dealt with uh, the navigating through the Nashville scene to do this album. Um, I couldn't be prouder. So I, I appreciate what you're doing, helping us keep this uh, get get this album out there. Anthems. There's yeah. something there for everybody, really, uh, from Dolly uh, to Billy Ray Cyrus, uh, ad libbing through uh, "Call Me the Breeze." <laughs> he, he's yelling yeehaw and, <laughs> and, hollering. and man uh, he made it his own and yeah. i think he has rebooted call me the breeze as a new road song just the yeah. way way he, he performed it so thanks for helping us do this i i wish we had more time today um, oh, of course i love you man you're one of my favorite drummers like I mean, I learned like Saturday Night Special like a couple of years ago on the drums. And like, I just, I, I mean, I love all your licks, but it's just. Well, listen, call me on the side. What's your whole name? Uh, Ted Tarter. What? Ted Tarter. It's on the show. Yeah. yeah. Get, you get, get my number. Call me on the side sometime. We'll talk drums. Yeah. And I can, I can tell you a, a story about Saturday Night Special. The way we edited it and spliced it for the movie, it, it went on the really? line of that movie with Burt Reynolds. Yeah, the yeah. Line. I'll I'll tell you a cool little story about that, and it might help you play it. Yeah, because there's a five four three four 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 bar right in the middle of the thing, and it's a splice. Yeah, and I watched Al Cooper do that splice, and they had to do it for the movie for some yeah. reason. I I don't know. So. Uh, Call That'd me on awesome. the sometime. Yeah, I'll, I'll get your number somehow. But <laughs> Can I give it to you now? Yeah, sure. Uh, just type it in the chat. Tell him, tell him to uh, email Artemis Powell Band at Gmail. 
email okay. Artemis Pile Band at Gmail. And the okay. guys will give it to you, Ted. Because uh, you know, fellow drummer, I, I always like talking drums. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Thank you so much. I'll really look forward to that. My favorite drummer, by the way, if I only could pick one, is Neil Pert. Mm. That's if I could only pick one. My favorite guitar player, if I could only pick one, is Jeff Beck. Mm. And uh, so that's that's the two main questions that I'm asked sometimes. Yeah. Because I've played with the greatest guitar players in the world. Jeff you know, Beck, that in that's interesting. Yeah. My band, if I could only pick one. Yeah. Because I, you know, I love John McLaughlin, Mahavishnu Orchestra. I love, you know, Jimi Hendrix. I play with great guitar players in my band. Yeah. Not to mention my Skinner guys. Oh my um, God. King, Gary Rossington, Alan Collins, and Steve Gaines. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, Charlie Daniels as well, right? Oh, Charlie. Charlie was known as the fiddle man, but I'll tell you something. Oh, he could play a guitar. I yeah. jammed with him a lot when he was playing his red uh, SG. Oh, and yeah. That, that man could play a guitar like a ring of a bell. Yeah. And, uh, well, all right, man. I, I think our time is, is, is our time up, Scott. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much. It was great talking to you. I'll get your email. Get the, get the number and call me, Ted. Yep. Sounds good. All right, man. All right. See great you, Ted. talking to you. See you, man. Yeah. Thank Love you. New Jersey. Yeah. yeah. See ya. I do.